because there's not tons of uh, news, but because of the interest and all the inquiries, we want to go ahead and have an availability. So I'll give you a quick update on what's going on, and then I'll be happy to answer any and all questions that, uh, that people might have. Um, we uh, successfully got the crane in today about 12.15. Um, I don't know how much the inside uh, baseball in which you might be interested, but we actually started with a different crane, um, recognized that the wheels weren't, weren't broad enough to absorb the weight of the crane so as to avoid damage to the uh, assembly, the floor of assembly hall, so we had to reload and get another crane. It's a 135-foot crane from our friends at McAllister Machinery. They've been very cooperative. With us, they brought it down from Indianapolis, and we got it uh, here at 12:15. Um, we actually had to take up the wooden floor that the team plays on and put down rubberized subflooring because that uh, because that thing is uh, so heavy and potentially um, potentially damaging. Um, we did make use of the time before 12:15. Our um, uh, university engineers and our external engineers were on the scene. Um, they were in what apparently is a fairly intricate. <coughs> intricate catwalk network inside Assembly Hall to see as much as they could see from the inside and they were also actually uh, on the roof uh, today and those are our again our in-house uh, lead engineers from the university and as well as uh, the engineer from RC um, engineers which is the engineering uh, firm that has been monitoring um, Assembly Hall for, for, for many many years has done our uh, structural uh, inspections um, on the roof uh, the engineers were able to confirm what we uh, thought was the causation issue last night. So, in sort of layman's terms, which is all I know in the engineering world, there's a there's a there's a, a, a valley um, in the uh, in the roof of, of a, an intentional design valley in the roof of Assembly Hall. Um, snow collected in there, and then as, as snow uh, melted, it slid in and created um, a. Uh, super load in that area. Uh, they speculate that it was probably the biggest load that the ceiling, uh, that the roof has, uh, has borne. If you will, all that pressure went to uh, where that plate was and essentially popped it off, which of course is, is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a flaw in, in, a, in a variety of, of ways, but uh, a, a targeted and unique um, um, event. So, so the, the, we do believe that, that we understand the cause and that it is largely limited to the, the plates that bear the full brunt of that snow. They were able to make a complete uh, visual and physical uh, inspection, both internally and externally. So that is behind where the, where the uh, siding is, if you will, as well as on the front end by virtue of, of uh, having the, uh, the crane there. Um, did find... Um, Two or three other places where the um, uh, steel plating was loose, none of which was imminent to fall. I want to emphasize that uh, there, there weren't any plates that, that, that they thought were in any kind of short term uh, danger of, of popping off, but there were some um, that were loose. Uh, so um, the, uh, um, we continue to be working on the assessment the nature of those plates, whether they do have any uh, sort of structural uh, utility or not, um, and then what the best method is going to be to remediate um, those, um, and those, con those details are being worked out. Uh, we have been uh, told that they are confident that they'll be able to um, completely assess and remediate, which is engineering talk for fix, the, uh, the plating and give us a 100% um, all clear and uh, confirmation that, that, that the plating is secure and um, assembly hall is safe. I'll add that while they were there, um, the RC engineers, the guys that, that reviewed the, the structure, they were able to review the overall structure of the roof. And just as it was reflected in, um, in uh, um, August or September when the last inspection was made, um, they're confident in, in the integrity of the structure of the roof itself. Um, but that's not to minimize it. Obviously, there's a problem if the roof pinches down and pops a 50-pound uh, plate off. Um, so, uh, in, in short, in sum, I guess causation seems to be what we thought it was last night. The uh, the assessment and remediation is is ongoing. Um, the engineers are confident that they'll be able to have that uh, repaired and certify it as uh, safe before the next men's basketball game. 
uh, which I think is uh, next Sunday. And then we're also confident that um, it'll be done in time to hopefully reschedule Iowa um, back here at Assembly Hall at a, at a time that's mutually um, uh, convenient for both teams. I'll also mention that the women's game is, is still ongoing tonight. Um, we're going to keep those uh, areas um, um, uh, roped off in an abundance of caution, even though the engineers have indicated that there's no danger at all of those plates coming down because they've inspected all of them, and even the ones that are slightly loose are not in danger of coming down. But we're going to keep those roped off and not have any fans um, sitting there. So Barbara and I will be at the game tonight and looking forward to, to finding some nice seats in the middle of the, of the arena with the rest of the, of the folks. Um, in terms of the Iowa game being rescheduled, conversations are ongoing um, with Iowa. Um, we're confident that we'll reach a mutually acceptable time and date within um, the 72-hour window that we have um, to, uh, to do so, and we're confident that game will be here in Assembly Hall. So with that, I'd be happy to take uh, any and all questions. I, you know, Fred, yesterday you had said that you gave some thought to removing that fascia, if you will. You've decided against that and will repair it and keep it up there. Is that where, I'm, where you're going at this point? The, the short answer is that the whole remediation plan is not finalized. They're still, last night I think there was a, was a feeling that those had a purely cosmetic um, function and therefore could come down without having any structural ramifications to it. They're trying to make sure that's right. Um, so they're into the blueprints and doing uh, engineer testing uh, uh, things. And so, um, uh, so the short answer is we're not sure that will be the alternative. Um, they, they have, a, they have a, uh, a number of proposed approaches. They're, they're fine-tuning that and testing that and doing all those sorts of things. But they are at the point where they, they gave us a great deal of comfort that it was, that it was uh, quite fixable. Um, there will be lots of there will be belt and suspenders at least on it for, uh, for multiple protections. Um, and, and frankly, given the detail in which the, the, in the structural engineers have gone over that area, it's, it's probably uh, will be the, the safest building uh, in the Big Ten, if not uh, the country, when they're done. Yeah, let me, the, uh, the engineers just completed uh, what was a very extensive review, as Fred said, both inside and out, in, in, behind the wall and in front of the, the wall with the crane. Um, they are right now meeting um, to try to work on the remediation plans, and now they have all of their data.